Hey guys, Jeff here with Jeff's Custom RC, coming to you today with an awesome unboxing of a great new product from Spectrum and Horizon Hobby. It's the all new iX20 SE Special Edition, 20 channel radio. Can't wait to get into this box and show you what we got in here, guys. This is a big box, beautiful radio. And uh, as I said, we will be unboxing today, guys. So stick around and I'll show you what we got. Alright guys, so let's cut right to the chase and open the box and uh, we won't drag this out and I'll tell you guys what the key features are as we go through this and that way we'll uh, get right into it and show you what we got. So as you can see, it's very nicely packaged. Um, guys, you ought to have seen this box when it came from FedEx in the original box. It was scary. I had to make them open it just to make sure and uh, I may drop a picture in the description uh, in the video as well to show you guys what it looked like because I was scared to death something was wrong with this. Also, guys, there is a card in here that says if you will just register your Spectrum Radio, which you should anyway, they'll send you some awesome uh, swag, some stickers, things like that. So check that out at uh, SpectrumRC.com and register your radio. Be sure to do that. But uh, this is pretty much it coming right out of the box here, guys. And um, again, very, very impressed with how this is packaged. Even the handle's got a really nice uh, grip thing on it that keeps the handle from banging up the top of the case. So that's pretty nice. That's the whole way. Um, so we're going to go right in here, guys, and show you what's in the box. So we'll open it up, and uh, I'll tilt it forward slightly so you can see inside. Um, first of all, guys, everything is very nicely packaged. The radio is wrapped in plastic. And then you know I've definitely taken this out and looked at it. So, you know, I put it back in. You know I'm good at boxing things back up, so I had to do that for you guys. Uh, first of all, guys, in the box we have a nice sticker sheet. Should you choose to put the uh, extra stickers on your case, on your planes, wherever you choose to have them. Um, that's just a nice throw in from them as well. Uh, you can see there's a lot of different ones on the card and these are peel and stick. Uh, next thing you have your, your manual, um, which is, <laughs> look how thin this manual is compared to the other radios of yesterday, man. I mean, because everything is pretty much online now, guys, and uh, you get updates with this one. But this is pretty much a quick start guide. There is a bigger manual. You can download the PDF for that. Uh, as well. It's like 130 some pages, I believe. So uh, yeah, this is the manual that comes with the radio. Um, so next we have, of course, a lanyard, guys. This is your iX20 lanyard, um, just like you get with most of your other radios. Let's see if I can get into this childproof plastic. Uh, but yeah, really nice lanyard um, with your, your black clip on here um, can be adjusted to length to suit um, but that looks really nice as well so that's that we'll lay it down next guys uh, the radio comes with the silver bezels around all your switches. as well they send you the orange bezels along with the tool right here in order to take off the old ones and install your new ones so that's pretty cool as well um, should you want to bling out your radio you also have a set of long or short stick handles that are different from what comes on the radio. Um, so if you want longer, you have here. If you want shorter, you have those as well. And the little Allen key that comes in for taking these off and uh, putting these on. Next up, you have a super nice, super nice USB charge cord, guys. Um, this is a... Uh, it's a micro USB charging cable. And the nice thing about it is guys, it's magnetized. So when you put it to the back of the radio, it kind of clicks to it and a blue light comes on to let you know you're charging. Uh, the other end of it is USB and you can either put a block on it or you can plug it into a USB port or a computer to charge with. Um, you're getting roughly probably a 48 inch charge cord. But these are what your ends look like here, guys. This is the end that goes to your radio with the light on it. Of course, this is your standard USB plug. 
and uh, this just clicks to the back of the radio. So that's really nice. And it's got flexibility to it. The cords in the other radios, uh, the DX8 and things like that were hard and could get brittle over time. Next we have orange grips, which are really cool if you wanna dress this radio up for the front of the radio and the back of the radio. These have the sticking uh, paper you peel off of the back here, guys. And of course, the little grommets that will push into your radio when you peel the other ones off. And you'll put these up here. So again, if you wanna dress the radio up with some orange bling, you've got your grommets, you've got different sticks, and you've got your orange pads here, guys, that are really cool to put on there as well. The radio comes factory with gray, as I'll show you in just a minute, we're getting there. Also, you get a super nice screen protector from Spectrum to go on the screen because the screen on this particular transmitter, guys, is nearly as big as my iPhone 12 Plus. It's, it's a big touch screen. And so they give you a super nice screen protector with the wipes and the pad to put it on just like you would your uh, smartphones. So that's really, really impressive. Thanks Spectrum for that. Um, okay, next of course we have keys for your case. If you wanna lock your case up, you can. If you keep some valuables in here, not to mention a very nice radio, you can lock it up. Just don't lose your keys. Um, so let's see, is that it in there? Yeah, so now I wanna show you one other thing before I show you the radio, guys. Take that out and set it aside. If you notice, you have a place where you can have not only one radio, but two. And also you have a place for screwdrivers, other tools, uh, USB plugs, things like that, guys, uh, your cords. So this is really, really nice storage. You can put some uh, extra batteries down in here, manuals in here, um, just really nice storage case, guys. This case is beautiful. Um, I will show you, it's also laser etched on the sides, as you can see there, all the way around. Super, super nice detail in this case, guys. Um, and again, it is lockable. But uh, yeah, I'm very impressed by this case. And here it is. This is the IX20 SE Special Edition. And it is super nice, guys. Um, basically, this radio, I am so impressed with it. It comes with a screen protector that you peel off and then you will put the supplied screen protector on. Also, I love this arm right here for your lanyard. Uh, some guys that I feel have them on the other radios. I really like that. It balances the radio really nicely. One thing I have noticed, it is a heavier radio than my DX8, but that's okay. I kind of like the weight of it. It feels good in my hands. And guys, I'm going to tell you, you talk about smooth. These are amazingly smooth because they are the Hall Effect gimbals. Um, this radio you know, it's a 20 fully proportional channel radio, guys. It has 720 5-inch Android multi-touch interface, intuitive Spectrum Airware touch programming app, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, of course, easy access to updates, apps, and to the internet. It is 11 millisecond frame rate with compatible receivers, built-in 2.4 gigahertz diversity antenna, and check this out, guys. How cool is that? Your antenna folds up or goes down for storage. Isn't that really cool? I like that a lot. Um, you basically have your Hall Effect Sensing Quad Bearing Gimbals, which are here. And as I told you guys, these things, I can't even tell you how smooth they are. Uh, on the fly mix fine tuning. Uh, it's got, let's see, plug and play TBS Crossfire compatibility using CRSF. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you, I'm still learning a lot about this radio. Um, and what it will do. I played with it for a couple hours last night and uh, I was just overwhelmed with what it can do and amazed. Um, also has built-in speaker and headphone jack. It has speech to text command interface. So you can speak to this radio guys and it will text. It will also understand your commands through your voice and carry out those commands. You can also put in your own call outs with your voice. Um, or you can download certain sounds to this radio, of course. Um, it's got uh, internal 250 model memory with SD card expansion, which means it is 
comparable or you can use your SD card to transfer over any of your Gen 2, Gen 3 radios via the SD card. That's what I'm going to be doing with my DX8. I have 35 models to date and uh, in that particular radio. So I will be putting an SD card in that radio, downloading them to the card, exporting them to this radio and loading them on. That's how easy it is, guys. You also have backward compatible with all of the uh, G2 model setups, which is what I just said. Integrated telemetry support, wireless trainer link, and again, the micro USB charging cable. Uh, and you can get a full list of all the features that this has, guys, at spectrumrc.com. Um, but it's just, it's amazing, guys. So I'm gonna turn it on real quick and just give you a highlight of what it will do to a certain degree, show you the home screen. Um, you press and hold and uh, it will blink. And once you start seeing the readout come up here, it's powering up. It is very quick, guys. I was pretty impressed with the speed compared to what some were saying with the uh, iX12. Um, the internet connectivity last night was really fast. Okay, that's it. It's up and running. Um, that's how quick it is. What, what was that? Maybe 15 seconds. Um, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to give you a look at the back here, guys, so you can see what we've got going on here. Um, as you can see, you've got more knobs here, which are your channels, auxiliary channels. Here is your USB plug, your SD card, headphone jack. This is also a port over here. Um, it's a connectivity port. I can't think of the name of it. I'll have to look into that for you, but that is a different type of port and you hear it making all kinds of noise. Um, I do not have my planes in here yet. This also has a super big battery in it for uh, long battery life, guys, so I'm pretty impressed with that. 10,500 milliamp Li-Ion battery, guys. So that's what you have already in here. You don't have to buy that extra as well. Um, you got a handle here that you can carry it with. Here are your pads, guys, that can be taken off and switched out to orange there. Also on the front here as well. So uh, that's pretty neat that they do that for you as well, guys. So um, again, I'm gonna tilt it forward so you can see all of your switches. Lots of switches, lots of channels. So again, here is your screen for an airplane. Okay, now I do not have a plane installed. You know they call them all Acros. You can also choose from pictures from this uh, particular radio of planes that they already have, which are full color pictures, or you can also access the camera in this particular radio. That's right, guys. It has a fully functional video and still photography camera, and you can take pictures of your actual airplane and put them right here. You can take it a picture with it flying, with it sitting on the ground, whatever you'd like to do, and put it right here. That way it's very personalized. Then just like your other radios, guys, you'll go to model setup, put in the type of model it is, and so on. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, guys. You just touch on a particular screen and it carries you to that screen that fast. Um, and to get back out of it, you this arrow over here, so now we're back to here. If you want to see your monitor, there's your monitor, guys. You just swipe. Again, swipe this way. Now, if you want to get to your settings, let's see, go down and down twice. Again, your settings, guys. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm learning more features about this thing. It's, it's just crazy, um, everything that it can do. You have Google, Google Assistant. All you gotta do is say, hey, Google. Um, you have uh, YouTube, you can watch videos, you can play music, you can order a pizza from the field. Um, this is really cool, um, especially if you have good internet connection where you are. I do have Wi-Fi in my truck, so that's really nice as well. So guys, basically, I'm going to show you really quickly how to put this particular radio to sleep, which is one press. It's asleep. That's how easy it is. To wake it up, press again. It's awake. They recommend that you put this radio in sleep mode if you're not using it. That way you don't have to reboot. Again, rebooting is 15 seconds, not a problem. 
So, I mean, that's how easy this is, guys. And again, it does seem overwhelming. It's a lot of switches and things like that. But if you guys have a smartphone, and a lot of you do nowadays, it's pretty simple to figure out. I had everything up and running last night. Didn't even need Tara to help me out, which is amazing because she is my techie. So that's how simple it is, guys. Um, super nice radio. Super stoked about it. Can't wait to get some flights in on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, check out Horizon Hobby's website to see more on this ra radio. Um, Wesley Boozer at the uh, Mary Boozer channel also did a um, video on this particular radio, guys. So check out that as well. Um, again, another thing I'd like to throw out there, I'd like to give a special thanks to Pilot Ryan for dropping his link for me to get this particular radio through his uh, link and his uh, website at pilotryanmedia.com. Now guys, I'm gonna throw this in there just so we know. First of all, if any of you guys are gonna buy something, we all know you are, here's the deal. All of these guys that have links, why not use them guys? It doesn't cost you a penny. They get a very little commission from it. When I say little guys, it is little. It's not much, but it's something. And all the somethings add up to big things. It helps these guys out. So definitely, if you're going to buy, please click on their link. Go to the website. Doesn't cost you a penny. And it helps him out. Keeps him going. And guys, look at how many planes these fellows have probably saved for us, showing us how to fly them, where to CG them, what the rates should be, things like that. So definitely help them out watch the shows. Thank you for watching Flight Club, and hopefully we'll be on Tuesday night with more about this radio. I hope to fly with it a little bit this weekend, tell you what I think, give you my thoughts. Tune in for that at 8.30 Tuesday night, where Dustin and I will be, again, having Flight Club and telling you all about what's going on in the world of RC and the RC community. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Spectrum IX20 SE from Horizon Hobby. Get yours today. I think you'll be glad you did. I'm Jeff. It's Jeff's Custom RC, and we'll see you soon.